Hi everybody, welcome to the Scott Show. This is our Scott Show uh, preview for NXT TakeOver. Yes, NXT TakeOver tomorrow night. Uh, it's in Brooklyn. It's the big show that they have uh, every year. The night before SummerSlam. And really super exciting card. Uh, you guys probably hear me say the same things over and over again. Super exciting. It's probably one of them. I think we might have a drinking game here on... Uh, in a few uh, in a few days, so like I said, this is the Scott Show. We're gonna recap or not. I do apologize, folks. It has been a long day uh, making sure things happen with uh, the 102550 brand. By the way, check out uh, YouTube slash 1025. I'm sorry, tinyurl.com slash 102550. That's where you can find all of our content. Uh, we're constantly making content. We're trying to get to the 10,000 hits views on YouTube so we can start making some money. Once we make some money, uh, we can do it up with the Scott Show um, and all the different things that we do. Because when we make money, then we can keep on giving you guys content, make it better, upgrade our stuff. Uh, that's what we need to do. And then the overall goal is, of course, to end homelessness, which is... Uh, the biggest plan of them all. So, that's our game plan. That's our focus, is to get as much uh, content out to you guys as possible. But we're going to make it good, too. So today is the NXT TakeOver preview show. And like I said, they're live in Brooklyn. This is the third time they're in Brooklyn. Uh, first two times they had the Sasha Bailey match in Brooklyn, which was an absolute barn burner. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Sami Zayn, I believe... Uh, no, that happened in Dallas. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to take that back. Because I think I took that other night off for WrestleMania. Damn. Alright, well anyway. Um, we could actually go back and see what see what the last ones were. Just to give you a little insight. It was uh, Nakamura and Samoa Joe for the championship. Uh, the Revival beating D, uh, DIY. Uh, Bobby Roode. I think that was his first match against... Uh, uh, Andre Almas, Ember Moon fought Bailey K. So that's what that was before. And the one before the first Brooklyn, that was the Sasha, um, the Sasha Bailey match. And actually, one of the big matches of that whole card was Jushin Thunder Liger against one of my favorite, Tyler Breeze. So. Now, folks, we are super busy here at the uh, 102550 headquarters and uh, the Scott Show uh, offices and uh, studio. So if you ever hear me give it a little bit of leg time, people are always hitting us up. We're talking, uh, making some noise all day long. And I don't want to be doing these things at 12 o'clock at night, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. If I have to start doing that, I just might. Um, so... Takeover, we got some awesome stuff going on there. They're going to have uh, the pre show is going to be really big. Uh, Nakamura, Carmella Banks is going to be there. Neville. Um, so I think that's really cool. They're bringing back like people from NXT, which is awesome. So, really excited to hear that. Um, and that's probably a drink if you guys are playing the, the I'm really excited um, game. At home, the home edition. All right, so we first match we have, and we have only have five matches on this card. I'm sure that there'll be more. I know that they only go. I think takeovers normally only go two hours, so that's pretty cool too. Uh, so we'll see what we have going on there. First of all, we have Johnny Gargano against Andre Cien Olmos. Um, Gargano's kind of. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, Johnny wrestling against uh, the former um, Mexican La, La Sombra. Um, both of them need the win. And I'm going to say the same thing in t uh, two of these matches for sure. Both of them need the win. Um, let's go with Gargano. I think that he's getting going uh, to get more of a push there. Um... But that's going to be a hell of a match. It's really going to be a hell of a match. Uh, these guys 
talent all day long. The fourth, uh, the second match, or the fourth one, if you're going on uh, top matches, top, is Alistair Black, uh, the former Tommy End, against Hideo Itami, the former Kenta. Um, so a little kind of dream match here, I think. Uh, you have two really talented guys out there. Um, some excellent wrestling is going to happen there as well. I don't think it's going to be as good as, like, super awesome as the uh, Gargano Almas match, but, you know, Adeo Otami, if he shows up, it's going to be damn good. Um, I'm going to give the win to Aleister Black, though. I think he's the one that they're going to be uh, looking at uh, pushing big time to the moon. Um, it's really interesting to me how they have. Um, all these people that they really want to push really heavy, and yet they have somebody who used to wrestle in WWE come back, and then they automatically get the shot. So I see that they do it two ways. Number one, they have the the guy that they're bringing back that wasn't WWE that had that moment, and that could be that linchpin. And then you have the build. You have the the guys that they build up. So. It's really interesting. They did that with Owens. They did that with Nakamura. You know, they did that with quite a few. Um, but we'll see what happens when they build these guys up, like Alistair Black. I think that he's got a lot of potential. Um, so there you go. So the third match that we have is for the NXT Tag Team Championship of the World. We have the Authors of Pain with the Precious Paul Ellering. WWE might not want me to call him Precious Paul Ellering anymore, but that's his name. Against Sanity, Alexander Wolf, and Dalian Kane. So, and they're going to be with Eric Young and Nikki Cross. So, what uh, what we have here, folks, is a very interesting match. What's going to happen? is you're going to see um, Sanity become the new Tag Team championship Champions. That's what I think. I think you're going to have the Authors of Pain. They're going to go to SmackDown. I think they're going to be that dark thing that uh, Breezango has been talking about. And, and I think that's going to be really exciting. So uh, if it's the other way around, I think the loser of this match goes to SmackDown. I will call that right now. The loser of this match goes to SmackDown. Um, in in the next match, and this is going to be like, yeah, it's probably going to be a ten minute video, just a preview of what's coming up. So, and then we got some other stuff coming up later on tonight. Uh, we probably got some football talk later on tonight. If not later on tonight, then definitely tomorrow. Uh, we have Oscar versus Amber Moon. And I'm going to call it here, folks, and you guys might not like me for this. I'm going to call it right here, right now. Ember Moon is going to be your new NXT Women's Champion. And I'm not going to spoil uh, what I was just going to say about the main match uh, of the night. But I think Asuka versus Ember Moon, I think it's going to be Ember Moon leaving Brooklyn with the championship. And I think the women are going to actually have the better match uh, than the men. Uh, in the main event. So uh, that's just what I'm thinking. And we'll see what goes on from there. And in the main event match. And this is a, a great match. Um, the reason why it's such a great match. Is the beginning. You know, Drew McIntyre will come out. He'll do his thing. He'll be like yay I'm Scottish. Uh, which I don't know. Shout out to all our Scottish friends. You know, you guys can still help us, even if you're not Americans and working in homelessness like we are in the United States. You guys can still help us. Give us some views. Give us some likes. Subscribe to us. Hit us up. Um, we can use all the help we can get internationally works, too. Uh, so we got Drew McIntyre coming to the ring. He'll do his thing. Blah, 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 blah. And then, all of a sudden, you hit the song, which I would have played... If we didn't have copyright infringement all over it. Because that, folks, is glorious. Glorious domination will play. Everyone will sing along. It's the sing-along song to Bobby Roode. Uh, 
and Bobby Roode will retain the NXT Championship even if he retains it in a weird way. And here's why. I think that NXT needs a blood feud. You know, I, I think that they need that. You know, they had Nakamura and uh, Samoa Joe for a while. I think that they need that blood feud. That says, here, these two guys are fighting over this title. That means everything in the world to them. And I think these two guys are the ones to do it. I think that they're going to put on an amazing show. I just think Asuka Moon and... Uh, or Asuka and Ember Moon are going to be ten times better than that. But that's because of who they are. It's going to be probably one of the best shows um, of the entire wrestling year. Probably next to... If it was in the Tokyo Dome, it'd get a six-star rating. Just saying. 6.25. So, that's what I think about that match. Bobby Roode's going to retain. Asuka is going to lose her title to Ember Moon. Uh, the... I, I really think that um, I, I think Sanity could win the Tag Team Championships. I love the Authors of Pain. I just like how incredibly just dominating they are. That one, I think I said Sanity wins and Authors of Pain go off to SmackDown. If it goes the other way, I say they go off to SmackDown. Aleister Black, uh, Hideo Hatami Black wins that one. And Gargano wins the opening match. We'll see if that's the opening match even. There might be some surprises, some other stuff coming up. Who knows? It is NXT. They are NXT. And and we'll just find out um, where they start. And I think, th- I believe that they'll end with the Rude and McIntyre match. Not completely positive on that, but we'll check it out. And you guys, thanks for checking us out uh, at 102550.net. That is our website. We do have a link to the Scott Show podcast on there. We have the Scott Show, the Scott Show Wrestling Show. Uh, We might even add the football show uh, just so we could keep on talking about football, college, pro, all that other good stuff. Um, So we are going to do that sometime soon. So check us out on SoundCloud, Twitter, Facebook. We are all over the place. And... We will be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow night we are going to give a review of this show. The NXT TakeOver show. And a preview of the show coming up the next night. And that's SummerSlam. We might do that on Sunday morning. Do a great Sunday morning podcast. And maybe we got some more that we... uh, got in our bank vault of podcasts so we'll we will have fun and we'll see you guys very very soon uh this is scott and i'm signing off on the nxt takeover preview we give the review after the show tomorrow